thing. We just wanted to do a quick roundup of cool stuff that we learned about from this year's show. It's a TV that does a rolling thing. Just, just let it play. Oh, but there's no words. We could chit chat. So it's. Let me pull it up. <laughs> a TV fruit roll up, exactly. <laughs> Uh, yeah. yeah. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Come out the box. There's Come no price on it yet, but Get this won a lot box. of uh, best of. So it does that. It rolls in, so it looks all cool. You could hide it. It does It does other Ooh. all kinds of stuff. Does that... Yeah. Uh-huh. You want to roll That's up TV. That's why you gotta get a bunch of them, so you can do this. If you have a fancy place and wanna, I don't know, it's for like super rich people, I guess, that have really nice living rooms with a view, and when they're not watching TV, they can roll it down so they can look at the ocean or whatever the fuck. You know what's funny is I was <laughs> gonna ask like who the fuck wants that, and I then answered. you just gave, and you actually gave like a legitimate. Like a legitimate response to like who <laughs> might want that. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and it's and it's OLED, so that's kind of cool. You know, you have like a big window, and you're like, right. you know, you're like, oh, I don't want to put my TV over here because I'd have glare. Exactly. You could put this thing like right in front of the window, and you know, you still have a nice view. And then like you come home, and you're like, bloop, 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 and it pops up, and then you can watch whatever rich people watch. I think Impractical Jokers probably and <sighs> Ancient love Aliens that show. because. As a person of culture, that's what I would be watching. I believe it. Yeah, 65-inch TV is okay. But if I was rich, a 65-inch TV would be like a 40-inch TV. But this is like the kind of TV that you like put in, in your in your bathroom next yeah. to your jacuzzi tub. And or sometimes outside. you want to look out at the sunset. And yeah. then other times you want to watch the Yule Log. Uh, this is probably well, where you put, your, you put this TV in your sunroom. You know what? You guys are never going to be super rich because you're you're unimaginative. Chu and I, we're going to be yeah, super we, rich because we know because how we to got think. ideas. We got ideas. We got vision. <laughs> also, they said that some uh, people questioned how long it can last with it rolling constantly up and down and shit. And LG claims that it lasts for 50,000 rolls or something. 50,000 rolls? Yeah. So don't but, roll I mean, it more than 50,000 times. Let's be fair. Yeah, that's like twice fair. a day for 50 <laughs> years. You're going to be okay. If you had this TV, <clears throat> how many times would you hit the button to roll it? When you're home alone? All the time. No, you would only roll it up and down when you had people come over. Sure. You would not roll it up and down like, oh, nah. I'm done with my show. <laughs> I'm going to the Chewy, store now. Chewy, I would Chewy do it. would be on Netflix, and every time a new episode started, she'd roll it down and then roll it back up and be like, Ta -da! And then, like, watch that episode. I promise you. And she yeah. wear like a, a circus conductor's hat. See, yeah, we I'll, know. I'll... Me and Donk know how to live. This is the first of the uh, BFGDs, which is like big fucking gaming display. So this is a 65 inch 4K HDR 144 hertz G Sync TV. So. Mm -hmm. It's basically like a really high-end gaming monitor, but in large format for your living room. This one is the, called the Omen X Imperium, X65 Imperium. Oh, this is the first readily available. There's a lot, a lot of other manufacturers that have announced that they're making these, but this is the first one that's in like actually available um, to purchase, and that's in February 24th. <clears throat> Another rich, rich people, yeah. rich people habits. Oh yeah, yeah, it's five thousand dollars. Five thousand dollars. And the experts say that it's going to be uh, that they're all like all the manufacturers are going to be at that exact same price point, basically. Yeah, and I'm going to so, play but, my switch with this Irma Gerd yeah, if I have one. Yeah, I don't think your switch has enough juice to push to this. <laughs> okay. Yeah, let's play this video. Let's watch this video. Ooh, sixty-five it's... inches. Yeah, Reggie, 65 inches is like a normal size, okay? Yeah, wait, wait. Just wait until my TV comes up. Oh, God. <laughs> I want one. 
And you see, I always wanted to play PC games or X or, or uh, all that kind of stuff on my couch. Hey, Smitty. Hey, Lee. I know. It's, uh... So does everyone think this is better than the roll-up TV? For me, it is. <laughs> Absolutely. This shit, makes, this shit makes me very happy. With the sound bar. You guys, you guys can play your video games on them little ass TVs. But it's not about little. Like, see, here's the thing: is it's about high frame rate. Yes, that's that's the thing about this TV. Like, yeah, it's it's not about having 200 inches. It's about the fact that this thing is 144 frames per second. The human eye can absolutely see the difference between 60 frames and 120 frames. Um, all the pro monitors, like CSGO players and everybody else, they play at 240 frames per second. The science behind it says that anything over 240 is indistinguishable. Like, you can't see the difference between 240 and 500 frames per second, but you can absolutely tell the difference between... It's, it's crazy how much you can tell the difference between 60 frames per second and 120 frames per second. That's just insane. Like, that it's an insane true. difference. I think the jump between, like, 144, which is what I play at. My monitor is 165, but I don't overclock it. Um, I think what, from 144 to 240, there's not a lot of visible, visible difference. But, I mean, you probably notice it in certain scenarios, but not a lot. <laughs> Glasswell says you play games at 69 hertz. <laughs> nah, I play it for for twenty hertz. <laughs> so this is the wall. It's made by Samsung, and it's a bunch of micro LED screens modularly put together to form and big and make a big ass wall. How much are they? So it's all so, modular too. If you play the video, okay, we'll play roll the that video. Shit. All right, <laughs> roll that shit. Roll that oh beautiful bean footage. God. Roll that shit. Roll that shit. See, the thing is, is you have to buy like 15 of these to make it 4K. So Reggie's only going to have. A, no, no, a, you can make them 4K. Half K but, TV. Like, <laughs> but you can set them up differently. Look at this. Look at this. This is my rich people wall right here. Just like Glasswheel said, my rich people house would be a full of. It's just a big, ginormous TV box. See, that's a blank rich people wall. And then watch this. Oh, my God. You can put this shit up like that, so it looks like you got paintings on the wall. All right, I'm into it. Look at this shit. How great many hertz blacks. can it can it do? Just, no, not just great black. Just great black. <laughs> one great singular black. black. It's just one black. Look at this. Look at this shit. Oh man, you that's pretty cool. Yeah, yeah. Imagine that shit in your rich people wall. So that's the, that's the and imagine all the video engineers that you get to employ to fucking send out non-standard video signals to your Tetris shaped no, you, televisions. You can you can do your own. You can hook it up. Yeah, you hook can it up do your to your own. computer, and then make it and just animate it. It just it's that easy, guys. Don't don't enjoy your TV. Spend all your time producing <laughs> when content. You got, for your when rich you got wall. when you got rich people walls, just being able to build a wall of TVs. <laughs> on my rich people wall, <sighs> people would be like, "People would be like, fuck that roll up TV. I want this Tetris TV, and that's what well, I would give them." I do know. I don't know what the frame rate on this thing is, but I do know one thing: one that it has, uh, like, equal to better visual quality to OLED. So it's either as good looking quality wise as OLED, which is the best looking screens on the market right now. That's right, and. And I and also OLED TVs have a very serious flaw in them, which is burn in because of the organic nature of the LEDs. So if you're doing stuff like playing video games or or have things that have um, uh, interfaces associated with them, like, you know, uh, if you were watching like a web browser with like YouTube on it, uh, you have to be super careful because it'll burn into your five thousand dollar television. So. OLEDs are great if you're not playing video games, basically. 
But if you play video games on them, you're basically going to have to throw that thing away after like a month. Huh. Oh, that shit. So, Never so these kind of solve both of both of those problems. Well, they don't have the same. They don't burn in as fast as plasma did back in the day. But they they do get burned in. Dude, half and the and viewers lose, of this channel don't even blacks. know what plasma is. Ooh. They think that's shit that their grandparents donate 